welcome back to the Silver River Chairs channel. We're continuing onwards with this Windsor chair. We're going to talk a little bit about cardboard today because there is extra space in between where the pattern is. And this one is especially noticeable because you have big square um, rails. You want to fill that space with something. Cardboard is the easiest way to use it, although we love having it taken apart and there's newspaper in it. So it's like a time capsule. These are teeny tiny and they happen to be curved. These are unique in that regards. So here's my cardboard technique. I love triangles. Triangles are great. Slip the first one in, pull it all the way to the front. Now these next few, you want it to stair step. So I've notch the first one off. This ideally will slip right in there and stay close to the edge here. Fantastic. Now if you put them where the points are all at the, you know, the points are all in the center, then it's going to be really thick in the center and not work well. So this guy making it a stair step is nice. Here, I'm going to slip that guy in, and you'll notice that I followed the contour of this curve so that it's filling in all that extra space. Now, that's as high as it needs to be to fill the rail. I like to put one extra to cover this joint. So, you can use a screwdriver, it's great. And there. Underneath. That way it covers that joint where it goes from wood to cardboard. And kind of massage it in place and you see this wonderful stair step down. That's what you're looking for. Okay, now we happen to be at a tie off point. I've got a new strand and I need a new strand tied in. So with the natural rush, it's been soaked we're going to soak in a crock pot for mm, five minutes, ten minutes, until it's um, until it's not brittle anymore. Masking tape helps it so that the natural rush doesn't on spool. Coming in, put it in the middle of a large space. These areas are too small now. I'm not going to be able to put a knot in here. We're coming in and we're tying a square knot. Okay, what's great about a square knot, both of these guys, and I hadn't pulled it tight yet, both of these guys lay nicely together so that it hides in your pattern. If you go and tie a granny knot, then your strands go in opposite directions and it just makes for a giant clump in the middle underneath. So square knot it is, you pull it taut, leaving it in the center of the pattern. And I'll come back with a pair of pliers, squish it flat. That does two things, it sets the knot and also makes it so that it more easily hides in the pattern. Once it's not going any place, you can clip it off and then you're ready to start weaving again. All right, that's all for now, but join us again and we'll continue weaving this Windsor.